because we're already indulging <laughs> with our first guest, Alex and his uh, Wiesen in a Box. <laughs> I feel like I got to say it with an accent. I apologize to any Germans out there. <laughs> Wiesen in a Box, what is this all about, Alex? Wiesen in a Box is a celebration of uh, Oktoberfest, actually. We're bringing a pop-up beer garden that looks similar to this across the states over the next year through the Goethe Institute and a larger program called the Deutschland Jahr. Okay, we have lots of questions. <laughs> first, explain what this institute is. Is it an institute all about beer? What? No, no. So the Goethe Institute is a is a cultural institute. Okay. They have language programs. They do, you know, crazy things like this. They're just all about the German culture. Um, we're based in D.C., my office, but uh, Goethe Institute is worldwide. Okay. Yep. So, and basically, I mean, I've spent some time in Fort Myers before, too. They had a huge German uh, population there. There was Oktoberfest in the spring and the fall. We love it here in the Bay Area this week. So it's really kind of just a taste of Germany. And you say celebrating the friendship between Germany and America, right? That's right, yeah. So this year we're celebrating German and American friendship. You know, the two countries have a rich history of friendship and they obviously share some cultural ideals. So we are just celebrating beer, which mm -hmm. everybody loves, and then pretzels. And we're taking that on the road as a, a great big celebration. Which I'm gl so glad you brought up the pretzels here because obviously we've got our beer steins <laughs> enjoying some German beer. Carly's not left out though, right? I know. Let's, look at the, you look take at the a look size at this of this pretzel. That's how you do a German pretzel. And you say this actually is authentic, right? This is. This is authentic. Yep. Yeah, uh, so we're drinking Hofbrau beer, which is um, out of Munich. Um, so we get the beer shipped to us as as often as we do the events. We get a great variety of them. Some, some of the beers that are harder to find in the States. Um, and we soak it up with pretzels. Which, by the way, I've heard, you know, fabulous things about Oktoberfest. Yeah. When people come out to visit you, do they feel like they're there? Do, have you seen any, like, German wardrobe? I mean, I'm <laughs> assuming people are going to really enjoy this one. We have had some very excited folks who <laughs> had some advanced planning. They'll show up in lederhosen and dirndls. <laughs> but we, you know, our celebration is, is about that side of Oktoberfest, but also, you know, like the modern German Oktoberfest, which goes, you know, well beyond the lederhosen and the dirndls and the, and the Stein hosting competitions. And and so we're, we're here to celebrate Oktoberfest, or the spirit of it, in all its forms. Yeah. Explain what the beer is, though, and the different flavors and what you are offering. Sure. So we have um, we have different varieties at every event. Mm -hmm. So this weekend, we've got the original, which is um, Hofbrau's oldest recipe. It's, um, it's a classic lager, super crisp and clean. And then we've also got a Maibach, uh, which is a spring lager, a little bit maltier, mm -hmm. a little bit roastier, but still very light, easy to drink. You can have as many stands as you like, and you won't get too full. <laughs> Explain, I mean, people love their German pretzels. I feel like there's something special about these. It's so good. Explain what makes a German pretzel so good. I think that's a secret, actually. Oh, oh. he won't give it away. <laughs> that's right. Where are you going to be this weekend? How can people come out and see you guys? We'll be in Tampa. We'll be downtown Tampa. Mm -hmm. uh, we're actually partnering up with the Tampa's Downtown Partnership, and mm -hmm. they've got us a couple of locations. This weekend, we're at uh, Grand Central. Okay. Yeah. It's Channelside area, so not, not far off the river walks. Of course, you can visit it, enjoy the weather, enjoy some German beer. All I had, I'm glad you rattled off those words because I can, I can, I got Speck and see Deutsch is all I have, which clearly I do not. Speck and see Deutsch. I've been practicing. Even, oh, you'd have yeah, to, you'd yeah, have to. Yeah. One thing I can practice. Prost. Prost. <laughs> there you go. I can cheers with my pretzel. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yes. Thanks so much for making a stop here uh, by our studios this morning. We appreciate it. Where can people find out more about you guys? Um, you can go to Guta, which is G-O-E-T-H-E dot D-E. Mm -hmm. And um, I think forward slash Wiesen, just okay. W-I-E-S-N. We'll make sure the graphic on our screen yeah, is good. Sure. We'll make sure and put that on our website as well so and people got, can follow. We've got an Instagram as well that okay. we're keeping you know updated with all of our stops. Wiesen in a box, just at Wiesen. Wiesen in a box. <laughs> Stopping by the blend. Kicking the day off right. All right, have fun.